when you make a plasmonic biosensor, especially for protein-based biosensors, you are using something called antibodies to selectively capture the protein of interest in the, in the physiological fluids, be it blood, urine, serum, something like that. And typically, whenever you make this, these biosensors, they are going to actually package it in, in a cold environment and ship it in this process called cold chain is in place. So where you are maintaining this cold temperatures throughout this life cycle of this, these particular biosensors. But this is not possible if you go to a, a remote place or maybe developing countries. Most of the times, electricity is not guaranteed, refrigeration might not be available. So what we did was, we took these antibodies and we coated them with something called metal organic framework to encapsulate these antibodies. We can protect any biomarker. You make your sample, you coat it with this metal organic framework and just ship it under regular conditions, store it under regular conditions, right before usage, you're just getting rid of this protective coating. That too, as simple as just rinsing it with water, but just slightly acidic water, that's all. The Air Force Office of Scientific Research actually funded this project because they're also interested in diagnostics for battlefield applications. We have the technology in place, we can apply this broadly too. As may, with many other technologies that are coming from this lab, we always rely on these small scale features to solve big problems.